Comes to you from the Valley. It's the London Derby, Charlton Athletic against Queen's Park Rangers. Alan Kerbishley's Charlton are exceeding all expectations, except his. The playoffs, at least, are now the target. The division's top scorers have to find their way to goal again, though. Two defeats running have interrupted their push for promotion. But back tonight, the very valiant record signing and 16-goal top scorer, Clive Mendonca. Ray Harford and Rangers are in the wrong half of the table. An expensive squad has been underachieving. There's hope, though, in Irishman Mark Kennedy, a lone star since his arrival from Liverpool. And Ian Dowie's still a believer. He scored his first goal on Saturday after two years of trying. Good evening. It's an important light for London's two first division sides. Coming up later as well, we'll bring you highlights of Sunderland's match against Reading. Sunderland very much the nationwide's informed team. But we'll kick off here at the Valley and join our match commentators, the Wimbledon and Jamaican midfielder Robbie Earl, who's alongside John Hell. Well, Charlton's recent failings have been in front of goal, but there should be more punch tonight as 16-goal top scorer Clive Mundonka returns after a four-match absence. He'll be partnered by ex-QPR striker Bradley Allen. Charlton unbeaten in their last ten home league outings. Yeah, I would expect to see Newton and Robinson in the Charlton midfield get as wide as often as possible, uh, aiming to produce a lot of cross-field balls for Mundonka and Allen to feed off. Rangers without in a way success in their last 11 league games outside Shepherd's Bush are still bedding in new boys. They've added complications as well with Steve Slade, George Kulsar and Danny Maddox all suspended. John Spencer suffering knee trouble and Nigel Quasi out with a virus. So Mike Sheeran is back to the exclusion of Kevin Gallon. The word from the QPR dressing room is that they may go with five in the midfield and only one up front. This will put a big onus on Dowie to hold the ball up. David Orr from Ivor in Bucks is tonight's referee. Well, this is the sixth match in succession at the Valley, though the home areas of the ground have been completely sold out, a real tribute to the style of Alan Kirbishley's side, so it's a full house for the only league derby here this season. Well, it's great to have one of the reggae boys with us uh, this evening, but for the moment our mind's very much focused on a very important game here. There's a wonderful atmosphere, and here are Rangers straight away on the charge for the ball. Beating Mike Shearer and going down. He's gone all the way through into that area now. And Rangers getting bodies around, but so there is Mendonca. Who is always sharp in these situations. He's such a key player, Brian Mendonca for Charlton, following his move in the summer from Grimsby. The Knights' first corner has gone to Charlton. And inevitably, people like Phil Chappell will be up in the six-yard area looking for this one. Rufus was there too, and here's the shot which is held onto by Lee Harper. It came in from John Robinson on the left boot. And that will do Harper's confidence no harm at all. There's the corner kick. Rufus was in there hustling for it. It came nicely to Robinson at a good height. Good stop. There's a little touch on there from Kennedy. But, uh, Brown covers. And then a rather sloppy clearance, giving the ball back to Rowland. Who can attack from here. Murray just keeping it flowing, and now Yates. Oh, and he's found uh, his marker nicely, and Gavin Peacock in, and uh, still in there. Peterson just did enough in uh, spreading himself in front of Gavin Peacock, but that's the best we've seen from Rangers. Yeah, great movement, and we talked about the runs of Peacock and the runs of Gallen, and those two players were there combined, made the opening and a good save by the goalkeeper. It was Sharon, actually, who, sorry, who made, who made the uh, play the ball through. Ball looks to be swirling in the wind there from Rufus. I thought there was too much wind around. It's just Mendonca teeing it up. Kinsella, good drive. Well held onto by Harper. Good but play by Mendonca there. Took the ball, lovely touch. Set it up against Salah, who's got a great strike in his right foot. Fortunately, the keeper was right behind it. As the ball comes in there, Mendonca is aware that his midfield players are in there. Good strike from Kinsella straight down the keeper's throat. Right, Harper. Still in the early days of his tenure as the Queen's Park Rangers manager, of course. 
Well, the space over on the left, and uh, that is where Robinson is. And here he goes, taking it on from Rufus, nicking it back in towards Mandonka. Reddy got a touch, it'll come down again. And Newton's ball is up there for Reddy to clear a second time. That oh, was well played. And Dowie's managed to knock it into Sheeran's stride. Sheeran cuts it back here, and it's a good strike. Kennedy meeting it as it uh, was cut back into him there by Mike Sheeran, and the ball sort of bobbled along the ground, and it was a bit disconcerting for Charlton. Yeah, good counter-attack by Queen Park Rangers. Gallon pulled the ball back, probably Kennedy's weaker side, and as it bobbled, just went past the post. I think the, the keeper there, Pearson, was happy to see it just go the wrong side of the upright. In fact, even Dowie seemed to have got a touch on the ball. Kinsella's has done well there, initially took the ball away from Barker, now Mendonca tries to get inside ready, he shows his strength. Jones. Well, it's a typical derby match at the moment, rather well, frantic. Kennedy, oh, it's a good ball through for Peacock, Peacock edge of the area, and a tremendous tackle from Rufus. That shows great pace and awareness by Richard Rufus. That's why so many Premiership scouts have been down here to Tottenham to look at him. Great speed, great recovery, and a fantastically timed tackle clears the danger away when Peacock was breaking forward. Well, people talk about strikers, but that was as exciting a moment as scoring a goal. It was such a good tackle. Peacock was through onto the end of Kennedy's pass. I think that's a fair point to make though, Robbie, you know, the game isn't all about goals, it's about people like Richard Rufus putting in tackles like that. Yeah, at the other end of the pitch, they're worth goals, the tackles like that, and headers and clearances off lines, and Richard Rufus, he does his job at one end, and he hopes the likes of Mendonca and Allen do it at the, at the other end. Peacock's touched back for Kennedy, then Barker, now Roland. Well, swept across and gaps appearing, almost alarmingly, and Murray is on into the area here for Rangers. Goes down, it's a penalty. Murray brought down, and Mr Orr had a good view of that, and no doubt in his mind whatsoever, and awards the spot kick against Mark Bowen. Another one of those deep line runs from the QPR midfield players we've seen. Peacock make one earlier. Murray makes it this tad on the right hand side. Does well to attack the space in front of him. And Bowie more than rashly tries to make the challenge. Doesn't get anything on the ball and leaves the referee no, no other decision but to give Queen Park Rangers the penalty. Here we see as Murray breaks in forward. Bowie comes over. Felt he could have stayed on his feet, dives in. Peacock scores, rattles it under Pettersson, and he's in double figures for the season. I'm sure Ray Hall could be absolutely ecstatic with his team. They've held out for a little bit of Charlton pressure, hit them on a counter-attack, and, and Peacock there coolly slots the penalty home, and now Queen Park Rangers have got something to hold on to. Here you can see Peacock just hits it straight down the middle, Pettersson dives to the left, 1-0 to Queen Park Rangers. His third successful penalty of the season and a critical goal for Rangers to score here. Against the side that is struggling to score goals at the moment. But the ball went dead centre into the net. Yeah, Patterson, you know, with keepers moving early, decided to go to his left. Cool play by Peacock, just twitted down the middle of the goal. And Ray Harford now will be happy that his side are in there, shouting out instructions, making sure that they don't give this lead away um, over the next few minutes. But it's just a peacock, he's passing on those instructions. Now he's got up well again here for Sheeran. And Bowen, who gave the penalty away, is to knock it back for Pettersson. There have been the odd signs of shakiness back there. In fact, when you think about it, Rangers have probably calmed out the better openings so far. 
one of the problems Charlton have had is, is in that the runners have come from deep and they've not been picked up and they've attacked the Charlton defence without anybody around them. Possession conceded by Newton. Straight through to Pettersson this time though from Rowland. What effect is that goal going to have on the game, Robbie? I feel now Charlton have got to push forward the wide players, Newton and, and Robinson have got to get back into the game. And in that central midfield area, they've got to compete a little bit better if they're going to get more possession. There's Newton. Here goes Kinsella. Newton on his outside. Uh, he almost confused Kinsella there, I felt. But Kinsella's done really well to get the cross in! Robinson's glancing had a, a foot wide. Robinson's again coming from that left hand side. We saw he do it earlier in the game. Good play by Kinsella, a, a well floaty ball in. Gets a yard of space. Evades the tackle here as he comes in, both from Roland and from Morrow. Puts a nice ball into the near post. And Robinson coming in from the left, you feel, should have hit the target there. I felt if he'd have hit the target, they'd definitely have scored. Layoff to Barker, lovely ball from Barker to release Mark Kennedy. And the cross is a dangerous one and has to be put out by Bowen for a Rangers corner. A yeah, great ball in from Kennedy. A little surprised that Dowie didn't go and attack that. They're the kind of balls that he's fed off all through his career. And then this time he was on a penalty spot just waiting, hanging out there. A tremendous ball by Simon Barker to start all that off. Yeah, Bork is the, uh, he's the brains in, in the outfit there, just sitting in there and he'll control things and, and pass the ball about and retain possession. So, Ian Dowie, Mike Sheeran, Carl Reddy all up here for this one, as Pettersson, oh, he stayed on the line, as Dowie attacked the ball. So, he scored his first goal for the club at the weekend in the draw against West Bromwich Albion. And I thought he was going to get one there. Yeah, that, that was claiming it was a corner, and I have to say the way he went in and how the ball landed, it seemed to maybe come off Chapel. But they're the kind of things that Dowie feeds off. Great ball in from Kennedy. Dowie attacked that near post space. I think he may have had a little, you know, he may have had a little case there that he was at another corner to Queen's Park Rangers. Solid deep. The Rangers are pushing them, pushing Charlton back. Not allowing them any space and time on the ball. Oh, he's got forward this time, took the return ball into the area here. Bradley Allen was getting across towards Mendonca, and it's out by Reddy again, but that was much better from a chart point of view. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen Bowen get forward. Good ball into Bradley Allen, who couldn't quite work an opening for the shot, but a lot better play by Charlton. showing all their experience to get in for QPR and now forward for Sheeran he's onside and so is Kennedy and Kennedy confuses Rufus Kennedy goes on and Kennedy whips it across the face of that Charlton goal and cannot believe he hasn't made it 2-0 now oh, great first touch by Kennedy took the ball away from Rufus showed his pace on the outside as the ball's laid here again from Sheeran that player again it's a great first touch Kennedy shows his pace on his favoured left side, goes across the keeper and just an inch past the post. Seemed to shave the post on the outside. The Rufus has stabbed it forward. Allen on to Newton now. Sharp roaring forward in numbers, Newton will slip it in field, here's Keith Jones, the ball into the middle, and the equaliser, struck by Robinson. Yeah, we've talked about Robinson all night coming in from that left-hand side, this time he finds himself right in the middle of the goal. Good ball in from, from Jones, I'm not sure if it's a little fortuitous from Jones as he stabbed the ball forward, but Robinson's a Johnny on the spot and then he knocks it in. Ball played back into midfield area, Jones just slips it forward, Robinson gets a yard of space and kills it to the other side of, Pe of the Harper to give Charlton the goal that Alan Curtis would be so pleased they got just before half-time. 
and the adrenaline really pumping for John Robinson. He wanted this so badly and he got it. Well, he scored twice in the 4-2 win at Loftus Road back in October, so uh, clearly he's got something against Rangers. Yeah, he's got an eye for goal, Robinson. He's a wide player who gets into those goal-scoring positions and he's got his reward there tonight. Wonderful time to score, Robbie, as well. I was saying Charl needed something. They needed a break before half-time. Yeah, and I'm sure Ray Arthur will be furious with, the, with his team. They've done so well for almost 44 minutes, and then one laps in the defensive area where they've been so strong, and Charlton now are back on level terms. Well, we've got a cracking match here. It's not been pretty, but then Derby matches rarely are. Well, there have been chances in the game, and uh, just to say we won't get more in the second half. Charlton finding a bit of rhythm, and then Sean Newton lifting his boot that he shouldn't have done. Well, they play some lovely football at times, and now they've uh, broken that barren spell, I'm sure the confidence will flood through the veins. given against Sheeran, the former Stoke City striker whose transfer to QPR was a very protracted affair, but he finally went there in the summer. But, uh, it's found it easy to hold down a regular berth. He scored twice against Charlton in that match at Loftus Road in October. Important closing moments of this first half. And Rangers, having just conceded one goal, do not want to concede another, but Brown is going to cross a ball in here. And unfortunately for Robinson, he has to chase back to win it. He's a little whip at this fellow. Charm with their tails up again now. Mendonca. It's all Charlton in these closing moments, having been behind for much of the half. And there are plenty in the middle, that ball is transferred in there, as Bowen looks to do now. The hard-working Newton has managed to play it back for Brown. But that's half-time here at the Valley, a very good first half indeed. Early Charlton pressure, but then Gavin Peacock struck the penalty after a foul by Mark Bowen. And uh, just before half-time, John Robinson has struck a vital goal for Charlton Athletic. And at half-time, it's one apiece, the second half coming up after the break. Well, it may be a cliché, but it's true that uh, there's everything to play for in this second half with the scoreline at one on. Ray Harford knew when he took over at Loftus Road, having left West Bromwich Albion, that he had a big job on his hands to make something from this season, which has been so disappointing for Rangers. Well kept in by Robinson, was it? No? For his assistant there incurs the wrath of Robinson. It was only a throw. Yeah, I think this is the way that he fires himself up for uh, Robinson. We saw him in the first half do it just before a um, uh, free kick decision before he scored, and, and maybe he's going to get a goal in a minute. Well, better that uh, someone's got passion than none at all. He doubt has plenty of that. Playing with his third London club, of course, after his spells at uh, West Ham and Crystal Palace. down for Robinson, couldn't get in there, Kinsella back for Jones, a lovely corner, and a splendid stop from Harper. 
Yeah, intelligent tackle there by Jones. Didn't go for power. Tried to bend it around the defender. And I'm sure Harper saw it late. Got a hand on the ball and, and played it wide. Well, as the ball's laid in, we see Jones try and bend it around the defender. And Harper does well to get a hand on it and push it away for a corner. Which is coming in from Kinsella. And Robinson attacked it, but it was Simon Barker there to the fore for Queen's Park Rangers. Well, there are some bargains to be had in football, and Lee Harper, £150,000 from Arsenal, has proved to be a really excellent signing. Yeah, that's an excellent save. He, he was unsighted and did well to, to get something on the ball. A bludgeoning challenge there, and the ball spins awkwardly, but... Chapel took care of it. Brown, a longer one, Mendonca in, Clive Mendonca, keeper stays on his line. Mendonca's going to have to check, though, and now supply Robinson, but Chart have two in the middle. Robinson looking to cut this one in, and slips. But it's still frantic, and it's not the best of clearances, and QPR under some pressure now, it's a swirling ball, and it's side netting. The ball over the top of Harper, and I don't think he was aware of Newton's death. Now, we've seen Harper on one or two occasions just misjudge the flight of crosses. And as Jones plays it in here, I don't think he's aware that Newton's coming in on the four post, and the angle was just a little bit too tight for Newton to get the shot on target. It's in there, and a little flick header. It's Dowie, it's Sheeran, it's across the face of goal. And plenty of time for Brown to take it in his stride. Well, the hurried effort from Sheeran there, he had a little more time. Thought he could have put his foot on the ball. First booking of the night here, Newton has been taken down. Simon Barker's protesting his innocence, but I think he's a little bit late on this challenge. As Sean Newton plays the ball upfield, Barker comes in, should stop. Stood showing rather and catches Newton right above the ankle and um, left the referee with no other decision but to put him in the book there. Yellow it is for Simon Barker, but he's well he's played over 500 games, he's served QPR for over 10 years since leaving Blackburn Rovers and uh, he's been a terrific uh, servant for them. Jones, oh now Mendonca and sweet movement, it's Newton, three in the middle already. There are four now because Kinsella's in there too, but it's uh, still Newton, twisting, turning, surely he's got to get this ball over sometime, and he fails to do that. Yeah, good opportunity for Newton, you just feel sometimes that they overpass a little bit, Sean, when they get in the wide areas and they, they miss the opportunity to get cross-field balls in. The call for the big fellas, and uh, number five, Rufus, number six, Chapel, will both be in there to attack this ball. Delivered by Kinsella. Straight out by Reddy. The chance there again for Kinsella. And eventually he does get his toe into the ball and it's Mendonca now teeing it up here for Newton. Oh, and it's agonizingly across and out with a deflection. I think it was actually Keith Jones who was running onto the ball, and he, he's had the shot, dragged it, and it, and it seemed to catch a Queen's Park Rangers defender on, on route to goal, and goes out for corner. But good spell of pressure now from Charlton. Four Charlton players in the six-yard area to try and pressurise young Harper. Uh, all was dangerous, and that's Ian Dowie up there. Back in again. Chapel battling for it, will it break? Rufus in there, mad scramble, Chapel's in there too, and it's the old head who gets the ball out once again. Simon Barker. Amongst that scramble, I think it was uh, Paul Reddy's made a great tackle to stop the. Um, I think it was Mendonca getting a strike on target. Robinson, is all this pressure going to yield a goal? Well, it has yielded a corner. Scramble in there. And the character of QPR's defence is certainly being questioned here. Not anymore. 
Well, this was madness. Everything was happening in there, and Reddy indeed did get a touch on there. Rufus was trying to get in, Morrow was sliding in there as well, and it was Simon Barker eventually who brought some calm. Barker. Well, a rather undignified way for that one to come to an end. That means all the pressure's going to come the other way again. Rangers are really soaking it up in this half. Newton. Showing his pace, going for goal, good try, and Sean Newton uh, showing the best of his talents. Yeah, good effort from Newton, he switched wings there for a moment with Robinson and cut inside onto his favoured right foot and trying to bend the ball into the far corner away from Harper and just goes a yard or two wide, but um, great play by Cholin at the moment and, and they're doing all the attacking. You see, checks inside onto his right foot and it's a good place he shot, just couldn't quite hit the target and um, at the moment it's all Cholin. Some respite here for Rangers there, they've won a free kick out of Rufus. Anxious man, anxious moments. Or at least his team is in Charlton's half for once. And Keith Rowland will pop this one up there, and Dowie will climb for it with Chapel, and Dowie might go off best. Oh, fresh air shot. The crowd enjoyed that. efforts through his career, does well to challenge for the first ball, doesn't realise that he has some time here, I think like we say, that we, we'd like to say that's a fresh air shot in golfing terms and uh, now he frustratingly tries to uh, take Ian Bowie out and well. Oh, and attempting to square it, Kinsella toe-poking it on, and Dunker in there. Rowland's boot to Rangers aid, not just once but twice. And these little flicks, uh, many of them coming off and then they pressurise themselves again and Newton nearly wrestles his way out of the challenge and in fact he's been awarded a free kick here. I think Roland had lost control. Yeah, good endeavour from Newton. Roland seemed to lose control, and that's what Cholton have done well this half. They've closed Queen's Park Rangers down, made them make mistakes with the ball, and so um, just put more pressure on themselves. And a Cholton free kick in a dangerous area with Kinsella on the ball. Well, you feel all this pressure would tell sometime, and uh, it's Dowie's clearance. It's pop strike back in there. Chapel! Chapel! No! Never got any purchase on it, and an easy stop at the end for Harper when he looked a certain scorer. Yeah, Phil Chappell actually, I think, need the ball rather than made a contact with his foot. Touch back to Rowland. It's a good turn from Kennedy. And Kennedy slipped it forward, he's offside, there's no panic. It matters not that the ball has been placed into the net. Great bit of skill again by Kennedy though, it shows that one moment of magic from somebody like Kennedy as he bursts forward, sees Peacock in advanced position, slips it through to him, and Charlton would, were happy to see the, the linesman's flag go up, but in fairness he was a yard or two offside. Well, that's a good piece of pace. Well, uh, this is a breathtaking attack and Hanel has figured in it, that looked like a handball by Chapel. Good job, it wasn't another six or seven yards on. Well, some referees would have booked uh, for Chapel there. Yeah, Chapel was fortunate to get away with this. I think he realised that the ball had beat him, got an advance of the ball and just stuck his arm out and was fortunate not to get a yellow card. The Queen's Park Rangers now are getting a little bit of confidence because Charlton haven't had that breakthrough and they may feel that they can nick a goal and, and get back into the lead. Kennedy's left foot, Peacock's right foot. Might come into play here. And Pettison's just been joined on his goalpost by Chapel. It looks certain to be Kennedy. Is there a way through, over, or around the wall for... It is Kennedy! It was almost perfect, but Andy Pettison has been redundant for much of this match. Flipped it over. 
Yeah, good, good try there from Kennedy with a great left foot, trying to look to kill it over the wall and into the side. Patterson sees it, gets a hand over, and Queen's Park Rangers get a corner kick. The important thing was he had a good view of it. And the wall worked. It's in here for Dowie. I'm sure Dowie will feel he should have done better there, actually. Got off really well, maybe a little too early as the ball's floated in from Kennedy. Leaps above Rufus, gets his head onto the ball, when the end can't direct it down onto the target. Robinson's cross, oh, where is it going and will it ever get in? And finally, even when Donkey can't get in touch, Reddy does Rangers survive yet again. Another little mighty scramble in the John and John still keep the pressure coming on with Kinsella. Streaming forward once more, Mendonca will try and turn. Tee it up for Jones, but wasn't to be. Peacock was there for Rangers and has a free kick. Great ball in, I think it's from Robinson from the right hand side. Gets caught under the ball with Allen, tried to lay back to Mendonca and manfully again, Queen Park Rangers have numbers back and clear, clear the ball in ready, shape of ready. But uh, Charlton just can't seem to get that break in the penalty box. Robinson slipped down the line for Newton, manages to keep it in and hoisted it by Kinsella. Uh, excellent defending by Reddy. Really, when you look at the match, Carl Reddy there, who's had an outstanding season since Alan McDonnell left for Swindon, he's accepted more responsibility. And he and Steve Morrow have had a, a great night so far. Charlton's free kick, hoisted in, and it's Reddy who gets it out. Back again. Well, it's an extraordinary pattern to this match. Mendonca turns in the area, still Mendonca. Clipped across here for Robinson. Oh, and, uh, well, it was ready with Robinson. Robinson got the better of the Welshman, but the keeper was in the way. Yeah, it just doesn't seem as though things are going to fall right for Charlton at the moment. They're plugging away, plugging away at their squeeze spot range of defence. They just can't seem to get that lucky break that will give them the goal. It was one apiece at half-time and it's still 1-1. Incredibly, really, uh, bearing in mind the amount of pressure that Charlton have had. And Robinson's done well, work back there, gets a free kick, quite right. But they're definitely running out of time. Mr Orr has glanced at his watch. Ray Harford grimly hanging on to a point. Back to Bowen. Forward is Robinson. The layoff was from Mendonca. Calmly dealt with by Murray. And forward goes Enola. Could there be a dramatic twist to the tail here? Enola goes on and blasts it over. Rangers could have snatched it, and that would have been cruel. I think it was actually Kevin Gallen who broke through on the right hand side. Got played in a lovely ball and seemed to lose his concentration. Blasted over when it would have been so much easier to have gone across the keeper hard and low. You can see he had the ball in front of him, he's clear away from the Charlton defence, time and space, and blasts it over when if he'd have gone across the keeper, I'm sure, he, he would have got a winning goal for Queen's Park Rangers, and, and Ray Harford will be very disappointed in Gallant's finish there. Brown, touch forward from him, three Charlton men attacking the same ball. Morton was the furthest one forward, but Rangers bring it out again. Gallant's on the charge again now against Rufus. He found him. chance for Kevin Gallon that he's only got the one goal this season him in the FA Cup for a tie against Middlesbrough but he might have won it there for Rangers that would have been a very popular victory down at Loftus Road but it's not to be for the moment and here comes Newton again for Charlton the ball in was well it was towards Mendonca and once more Carl Reddy was in and Yates there too and 
they're holding fast. Well, everybody in now for Charlton. Chapel on the jump. But at the end of the night, Charlton Athletic have to settle for a point. The superiority has not produced anything more than one point. John Robinson with their only goal just before half-time, cancelling out Gavin Peacock's penalty kick. The Rangers would certainly settle for a point on a night when uh, they've come under intense pressure, but Charlton find victory eludes them. The final score at the Valley, Charlton Athletic won, Queen's Park Rangers won. Clyde, frustrating, is that the right word? Yeah, I would say so tonight. Uh, I mean, you watch the game yourself, I thought we had like, what, 70, 80% of the game, but uh, unfortunately for ourselves tonight, uh, we just the ball in the box didn't fall to us really. Uh, we have ended up drawn, uh, but having said that, I thought we played some good stuff at times, uh, and we're still up there. It's two away games in three days, and they've worked very, very hard, and they deserve what they got. The defending must please you immensely. Yeah, but I thought some of our attacking by the first half was exciting. I thought some of the uh, counter attack was excellent, and uh, we just needed the second goal in the first. I thought first half we were very good. Second half we had backs to the wall, and we just had to defend for long periods. We've played well. We've played uh, as well tonight as we've played all season. Goals didn't come, you know, that, that happens sometimes, but uh, I've just said to them, if they carry on playing like that, you know, we'll get enough points. I've scored my tenth goal of the season here, so uh, I haven't scored at the Valley since, uh, since I've played here, so um, yeah, it was, it was nice, nice to score against the club I, I used to come down and, and support when I was a kid. And how do you rate their chances for at least staying in the, in the, in the, uh, in the playoff picture? I think they'll get in the playoffs, and I mean, I think if they make the playoffs, then I think that they'll go on. Really? Yeah, I think that this year Charlton have got a strong enough squad to uh, to go all the way. I mean, I think they're a good side. They they put teams under pressure, and and they've got the finishing power as well. Have you a bit of money to spend and invest now at this crucial stage? I've got some money to spend, and uh, you know, it's very difficult out there. I think that all the clubs are, are looking to try and improve themselves, and it's very difficult to to bring players in that are better than what you've got. And uh, I would only bring players in if they are better than what we've got. There's no need for me to, to bring enough squad players in because I've got a big enough squad. I think the, the other clubs have got more spending power than us and, you know, that's life. But uh, we've got more than that here. I think, I think we've got spirit and commitment. And I, I think if anyone was a neutral tonight and come watch that game, then, then surely they must have been impressed with us. So Charlton's Day, fifth individual Smith's winner. So Nottingham Forest go back to the top, a point clear of Middlesbrough. West Brom's defeat means Charlton do strengthen their position in fifth place. Birmingham move level on points with Stockport after their victory at Crewe. In the bottom half, Queen's Park Rangers stay in 15th after that one-all draw here at the Valley. Berry's point and Portsmouth's victory put Manchester City in a really perilous position now. They've dropped to 23rd place. Okay, for a final word with our match summariser, Robbie Earl of Wimbledon. Robbie, you've taken a good look at Charlton. Uh, it, somewhere in there, do you see a, a Premier League team trying to get out? Do you, do you still rate their chances of reaching the playoffs? Yeah, I think as we've seen tonight, though, um, they have a lot of possession and they've got to turn that possession into goals if they're going to be a realistic uh, you know, opportunity to get into the Premiership. Where do you see their best hope now, uh, between now and the end of the season, lying in terms of the way they've got to play, especially here at the Valley, because teams are going to come here and they're going to defend deep like Queen's Park Rangers did? Yeah, I think it's important that when they get the ball in the wide areas, they do get it into the box and create uh, as many chances for the likes of Mendonca and Allen, um, who, who are the players who are going to have to get them the goals. It would seem as though Middlesbrough, Forest and Sunderland are very well set, at least for those top three places. Yeah, the, the three that came down, funny enough, look like the three that are going to be up there and, and Cholton may have to settle for a uh, playoff place. I know you've missed. They're off to the valley.